Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to give you a small demo of the transparent mode of the Calypso Wi-Fi module. With the introduction of the new firmware version 2.0, the Calypso implements a new mode of operation called the transparent mode. This mode was designed keeping in mind a UART to Wi-Fi bridge application. Let me give you an example for such an application. You have a device with a serial data interfa interface that needs to be connected on to an existing IP network. This is a typical industrial cable replacement application where you have a logging device in the field that needs to log data onto the databases that are present in the existing IP network. Let me propose a solution to this kind of an application using the transparent mode of the Calypso Wi-Fi module. We begin by connecting the serial device on to the UART interface of the Calypso module. On the network side, it is very easy to configure the Calypso module to connect to an existing Wi-Fi network and to an IP-based endpoint. All we need is the credentials of the access point in this case, as well as the IP address and the port of the IP endpoint. All the configuration can be performed using the onboard web interface of the Calypso module. Once configured, the module is booted up in the transparent mode. Once the connection is established, the module automatically transmits all the data that comes over the UART onto the Wi-Fi network onto the IP endpoint. In the same way, all the data that comes from the IP endpoint over the Wi-Fi network will be forwarded onto the UART interface of the Calypso module. In the transparent mode, the module supports TCP, UDP, as well as TLS in client, as well as the server roles. For our demo today, let us consider the evaluation board of the Calypso Wi-Fi module and configure it as a TCP client. This module will connect to an existing access point and I also have my laptop that runs a TCP server tool connected to the same access point. I also connect directly onto the USB port of the Calypso evaluation board and transmit data using a serial data interface. Once the, uh, once the connection is established, all the data that I type in on the serial terminal will be forwarded over the Wi-Fi onto the TCP server and all the data that is given in from the TCP server will be forwarded onto the UART interface to the serial terminal on the laptop. Let us begin this demo by configuring the Wi-Fi module. For this, I have started the Calypso module in the provisioning mode by pulling the app mode pin one to high. In the provisioning mode, the module appears as an access point with the SSID Calypso underscore the MAC address as default. Let us connect to this, uh, connect the laptop to this access point and open a browser and type in the address calypso.net. This will open up the configuration pages of the Calypso module. In the background, the module starts a, a, a Wi-Fi scan in which all the Wi-Fi networks in the surrounding are detected and presented as a drop-down here. I select my IP, uh, my uh, access point in this case and type in the security key and click on add. With this, the access point profile is saved onto the non-volatile memory of the Calypso module. I also select the device mode to be station. This is the Wi-Fi role and click on apply. With this, the Wi-Fi configuration of the module is complete. Next step is to configure the TCP uh, client in the transparent mode for which select the category transparent mode in the user settings page and socket type. In this case, we are going to select TCP client, click on post. Next, we have to configure the server address, which is under the setting remote address. Type in 
178.36. This is done. Next, we configure the remote port to be 5000. Post. With this, we are done with the configuration of the Calypso module. Next step is to reboot the module in the transparent mode, for which I set both the app mode pins 0 as well as 1 to high and restart the module. In the meantime, let us verify if we are connected to the same access point. In this case, connect to this access point. We are already in the same network. Once this is done, it is time to start the TCP server. I'm going to use a tool called Swiddler. It's an open source tool. It's very uh, handy uh, to start or uh, to do TCP and UDP tests. A shout out to the developers of Swiddler. Let me create uh, this the TCP server. As you can see, as soon as I created the TCP server, the Calypso evaluation board with IP address 192.168.178.43 automatically connects to this server. So this is because of the transparent mode settings which we did earlier. Now since the connection is established, all that is left is to simulate data transfer, for which I use the smart commander uh, which acts as my serial terminal and um, I have typed in here hello from uh, Calypso client and click on transmit. As you can see the data has appeared on the TCP server. Let us test the communication in the other direction. So in this case I am typing in hello from TCP server click on send. This data now travels over the Wi-Fi onto the Calypso module and is forwarded onto the serial terminal. As you can see, is printed out here as hello from TCP server. With this, as you can see, we have achieved the data transmission from the uh, serial terminal to the TCP server and in the other direction, TCP server back to the serial terminal. This brings us to the end of our demo today. Please visit the product page of the Calypso Wi-Fi module for more detailed information and refer to the app note ANR028 for more tips and tricks of the Calypso UR2 Wi-Fi Bridge application. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.